everybody. Please join with me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance flag of our country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's wear. Out back here. Oh. I haven't got here. Sophie brought it. Sent an email. She started it up and put it across. How many hours? Three quad hours. Because when Crawford got in, because we opened the hood and the door wasn't open. Crawford opened the door. I mean, I don't know. It was like five minutes. You're looking down, the carpet is on fire. That's right. All the tables were getting in the floor box. Especially for me. Yeah, I know. I, I knew that factor. You got He's a super nice guy. A couple of minutes in front of you. Another Please uh, take a few minutes and <coughs> review those. One's the budget adoption hearing from uh, October. I guess we didn't handle that before. No, we have, yeah, we handled the budget hearing. Oh, that's right. This yeah, is that's for the minutes. adoption meeting. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, last month earlier meeting. Um, this is on the. Yeah. Where will we go? <laughs> it's like Which his email is more explanatory than this. I'll have to go find it though. It kind of confirms what we already knew, but it said he's still on the top. It's a card. There's a whole thing that dashes. I mean, what part of the box is there? I'm going to cut out. Yeah, and we're buying some stuff. And then there was no power. Would you really? Hey, I dropped mine in today. <laughs> I guess I can mail them and be okay. Yeah, as long as your postmark is tomorrow. They might be doing me. I don't know if you can pay them at the bank tomorrow, do I? What bank? We don't have a bank. I know. I mean, any bank. Everybody had a chance to review those minutes? Let's act upon the budget adoption hearing minutes first. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as written. I second. <coughs> Been moved and seconded to approve the minutes from the budget adoption hearing of October the 12th, 2021. Is there anything under question? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. <coughs> and now your regular meeting minutes from that same evening. Can't read anything right in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then when I look up, 
for them to worry. I know, because they're reading glasses, yeah. So I'm probably going to have to get some contacts. Or not contacts. Some glasses. Uh, you know. Bifocals. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> A different pair of bifocals than what I have. Oh. What's the plays around the minutes from the meeting? Are you still looking? Yeah, I see. Carol, are you still looking? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty much done. Oh, okay. I make a motion that we accept the meeting minutes from October 12th. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes from the meeting of October 12th. As presented, is there anything under question? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. You got one from the sun as well. Can you see I still want to look at this one. You what? I may still want to look at that one. Okay. <coughs> Now we will go around to the room for public comments. Anybody, anybody here? Okay, that was quick. Okay. We'll go to now to old business. Can I be out of here by 7.30? Yes, you can. <laughs> Is there a game on? It's already eight o'clock. Keep moving. Well, somebody don't know how to turn the clock back, obviously. Hey, you just wait till March, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we got a few minutes of meeting to go. Uh, update on the PAMP. Uh, I gave the contract to HWC, and Brian said they would get to work on it, and I haven't heard anything. So they're there's working, no update. Working on it. Yes. But you signed the contract, so I submitted that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell us about this property on East St. Clair. East and St. Clair. Um, so the title work came back that Scott Craig out ordered and that it is railroad property. It's a little bit of a complex issue apparently. And there was a lawsuit in Hamilton County and he said he's still, he's still not sure exactly if they, he said the documents the title company sent don't exactly make that much sense. So, um, he said he dealt with CSX a few years ago when he acquired some property for ISU from them. And um, he's going to contact the people that he dealt with then, see if he can get anywhere again. So the title work, he said he felt like was still pretty unclear. I think the issue is it's not clear if the railroad actually owned the property or just held an easement on the property. And he said even this info from the title company has really not give us any additional information. So he said he really wants to clear that up before he goes forward. So that's where we're at. Not, not much farther, but maybe a little farther. Did it say the taxes had been paid? There's no, it's not even, it doesn't even really have a parcel to my understanding. I know there's a parcel there's number. Parcel numbers here. Well, there's a parcel number here, but it's like, you can't search that. So I don't even know, like I- There's a tax back map number too, but that's, that's for the adjacent properties. Right, that's what I mean. That's all adjacent, none of that's them. So that land's just out there in limbo, isn't it? <laughs> it apparently, that's why Scott's, I think that lack of a actual, that's where he's coming from on the whole thing. So I don't know, he's been doing his due diligence. So, so does CSX have, that's what he thinks. Because that was B&O property. Right, and they absorbed the B&O. Yes. Yeah. So, <coughs> it's I, still in limbo. So, the title work, and then he's going to do some contacting. So, that's where we're at.
Yeah, there's a few people that don't own the ground next to it anymore listed on here. Right, and that's that came out of that lawsuit information in Hamilton County, which is in like 2000 and say 12, I think, I can't remember. It was like a really long time ago, so. So the people well, this says 2003 right there. 2003, there you go. So people in Sunnyside Meadows where they have the, and we just had somebody that said it was deeded to them. Yes. Well, but some, but some, some of these people on here, are, it is Sunnyside Meadows. Well, and the, <coughs> the confusion, what Scott's saying is that some of that property. I'm sorry to hear that. It's been so long, but it wasn't. It was being up. Scott's saying that some of that property was actually deeded to the railroad and owned by them, but some of it was just an easement. Uh -oh. And this is a parcel in question, uh -oh. is what he's saying. So that's where we're at. So the ones that are showing deeded back would have been an easement. Could have could have been railroad owned. I don't know. That's it's a it's a good question. I'm not. I just don't know. He doesn't know either. So he as soon as I brought this up to Scott, I think his head started to hurt, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he started to, to talk really fast. And no, I'm just teasing him. He was great, and he he just he says it's just really complicated. There's just a lot of variables when you get to the railroad stuff. So, mm -hmm. but he's awesome. So I'm sure he'll have some something going on for us. Yeah. Okay. What's the latest on the ca asset capitalization project? Well, um, <clears throat> I spent a lot of time with Larry, not last week, but the week before. I learned a lot about how to open ledgers and take them apart, <laughs> where there's valuable information underneath the spine. That's great. I mean, I guess that's worth him <laughs> his seventy-five dollar an hour fee. Um, he is very thorough he is he has a lot of questions these are his latest questions for me i'm actually going to have mr mcmullen look at these at some point carol and i answered a couple quickly the other day but there's a lot more i have to dig up he's really stuck on deeds i need to spend an afternoon at the courthouse pulling deeds for him he wants to know when things were acquired so he feels like he can accurately capitalize those he's there's just a lot. It's a it's a lot. It's I, just a big bunch of waste of time that the yes the <laughs> government wants us to spend money to fill out for him. Correct. <clears throat> That's where we're going. So he would like to come back. He wanted to come back the beginning of this week, and I was like, I haven't even had a chance to go over this yet. So I'm hoping he'll get he'll get down here next week again. So. Next week's a better week for me because bills aren't due and people aren't in and out all the time. So. Yes. Okay. Um, should we do the salary ordinance? You have to do now? it at some point when I know it's at some point. I don't right. realize that. Yeah, they're not on two businesses. I had written down under new business, but because yeah. <coughs> we haven't really discussed it at all. No, you have not. So. That's probably that's probably about it. I don't know what else I got under old business. Anybody have anything else under old business? Eric Smith is. Um, he's redoing the numbers on yeah. the stormwater projects. Yeah. Um. Christy Darrell actually was very sick. She's at home recovering, so she's not moved forward on her part yet. She's trying to get back to feeling good. Um, and Eric said that he does not think, even with our match, we will be able to afford to do everything that you and I talked to him about. He feels like we'll, our focus would have to be Sunnyside Meadows, like that area. <coughs> he said he didn't think we had, he also didn't think we had enough customers to raise enough money to support the maintenance of both projects at the same time, like the ongoing. So it would probably have to be focused on that area. He was still running numbers though. Okay, so we need to look at establishing the stormwater. Uh, oh yes, we will. And Christy will handle that. She'll take care center. of that at some point, yeah. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. I did talk to Cindy White. I explained to her 
what needs to happen. Talk to you, Mac, about running sewer because I did have someone else call about tapping into a using a lot that nothing was existing on to tap the sewer line. You, Mac, says twenty five hundred to four thousand dollars to tap onto a main. Um, it's pretty pretty pricey, and they also said our nine hundred dollar tap fee does not even probably cover the materials on the water, which. I mean, I don't think we ever thought it covered everything, but he said that that's actually pretty low, especially with current construction prices, which could go up or down. But I did talk to him at length about that. And I will say, since we're talking about UMAC, they are going to fix that leak that happened on Central Street in March. They mm -hmm. are going to take it back to a correct fix. It is scheduled. They are just extremely far behind. They said there was a big miscommunication about that and they thought that that night between Gary and Tony that they all said it was fine the way it was and then I contacted months later and it's just gotten it's on the board and they will get here. Well I don't know whether it was Gary and Tony's choice to make it be okay. Well I don't know that it was either yeah. Oh, we never did get a bill, did we? No, I've never paid for it. Yeah. So I, he's, he said he just, he said after I talked to Troy, the first time I called Troy and talked to him about it and said we wanted it fixed, I don't know if they just, it was three months out Yeah. then. And I said, and I've never gotten a bill. And Ronnie's like, oh, we're extremely far behind. Oh. Well, that was March. Yeah. And this is November. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about next March probably. He said that he's got projects on the board that are six to nine months behind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Might as well wait till warm weather. That's right. Yeah. I mean, really. You don't want to do that out there in January and February and, and they early will, March. Yeah. And they will have to shut the town down. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. The tower will have to be closed off. Mm -hmm. To prepare it properly. Or to repair it properly. But yep. it should only take a day or mm -hmm. less than a day. So. Yeah. As long as everybody's notified. Well, we can't do like Duke does. <laughs> Call you an hour after the <laughs> power goes off. Uh, Better schedule it on the day when the school's on vacation. Yeah. Or how about schedule it and then change your scheduling and then turn it off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if they're that far behind, they're probably won't be done until maybe spring break so right. that's uh, probably very likely okay any other uh, old business all right let's go to new business and let's discuss salary ordinance and I've lost what I read down written had written down my own and I didn't know that <coughs> no I saw you had it written it's down has anybody given any thought to it? Or did you just let it go after we left? Uh, well, I think there's some raises that need to be made. Uh, Natalie's been working, what, three, four years now? Well, she's had a raise. I don't know if she has. Uh, she has. I, yeah, I did. You did? Well, Not last year. Oh, last year's in the year she was. Yeah. Okay. So we skipped a year because of the pandemic. Yeah, because we were concerned. What I was looking at was 3% for the clerk treasurer and the town marshal. Okay. And the water operator. He hasn't asked, I don't think, but. Okay. And. No change for a deputy clerk. <laughs> and eighteen dollars for the full time street superintendent. And ten dollars an hour for part time help. And let's see. $600 for a deputy town marshal if we ever have one. 
And I think that covers everything but the council members. Clerk Treasurer would be one percent from each fund. <coughs> what? So we got our big raise last year, didn't we? Right. We got our no, the year before last. Yeah. Ten years, hey. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it might it'd be longer than ten years to have one, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's anybody else's ideas? Are you taking the deputy marshal down though? I'm taking oh, deputy okay. marshal down. Okay, yes. that's what. Okay, that's fine. I just I was just making sure I was understanding that. I don't think a brand new one needs to start at the, what the old one was. No, I completely get that. So. Sounds good to me. Should I make a motion? Yeah, well, we had, need to have a motion, yeah. What did I say? <laughs> yeah, what did you say? He said you need to have a motion. Okay. Well, I make a motion that we do the 3% for the clerk and our town marshal and water operator and 18 for town man and 10 for the park time. Okay, did that get everything? I got everything except for your $600 for the deputy town marshal. $600 for town marshal. Deputy, deputy marshal. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Are all those things using your proposed ordinance? Huh? Are all the things using your proposed ordinance? Not yet. Okay. I was going to say <laughs> approve proposed ordinance. No, it's not in there, but it's just... It's in addition to what's already in there. Um, you can first read tonight anyway. Then I can modify it and do a second read next month. Okay. Because we're supposed to do that anyway. Maybe I need to read this. No, you don't have to read it. The changes <laughs> are 3% for the clerk treasurer. No change for the deputy clerk treasurer. $18 to the town employee working full time as street superintendent. Paid percentage the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, town marshal plus 3%. Other part time employees shall be paid at the rate of $10 per hour. Deputy town marshal, upon having won $600. A month and water operator three percent above what is in there now and we'll have this in a proper form next month and then vote mm -hmm. on it okay wonderful Natalie's got a thing on here for me to talk to you about oh, yeah, a round table they have a round table I think that's a different organization and I don't know well, that's impact I, I don't know if we're a member of that or not yeah that's not aim it's not aim yeah I just, this is this is a water thing it's not a water thing is it is impact a water thing I don't know I don't know what impact is <laughs> it was like a human resources like managing people motivate it sounded like a motivational speaker to me honestly i don't know i don't know anyhow it's on martinsville indiana anybody interested in going the papers up here i was thinking the the aim, aim round ta tables are they're all over virtual yeah they're all over right now too yeah do you want to talk about this yes. and do you want me to give us a start? well go ahead and yeah. Say what you want to do. Okay, so in my effort to move my office back here, I had Crossroads Electrical come out and give me a quote to move some outlets. Um, the price is $1,038 to install three outlets. I, 
I don't know if you guys want me to get a second price. I don't know. That was, I mean, I don't know who to call an electrical. John recommended Crossroads. He was a nice guy. I mean, it's it's expensive. But that's the That includes new outfits. breakers, mm -hmm. new conduit, mm -hmm. wire, miscellaneous straps and hangers and so forth. $450 labor. Mm -hmm. $405 labor. Yeah. So. It's not an unreasonable price, I know that. Yeah, I mean, it's probably really not that bad. I don't know. So. Should we just get another estimate just to... I can. Who yeah. do you guys want me to call? I just don't know who does electrical work. Zeus, did you tell me you knew someone? I have a few people. Okay. I have a guy that we use for all of our electric, for all of our property stuff too. Do you? He's yeah, retired, but he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an electrician, so yeah. he's always super cheap compared to like anything. Okay. Cheap is not always the best thing. Yeah. Oh, he's he's right. good at what he does. Talk, just talking about electricity. Then, right? <laughs> yeah. I did yeah. that for 38 years. Yeah. I know the cheap is not always right. cheap. Let me put my word in. Yeah. Huh? Let me put my word in on electricity. <laughs> we want somebody. Well, I mean, I will say, I, the Crossroads guy, he was very thorough. He did look at the breaker box, and I did explain to him how the building is right now. I didn't want to overload anything. We are running like... I don't know, a bazillion refrigerators on this side. <laughs> We've added new furnaces and stuff like that. So he did say I had enough power to do this. We talked about what I was going to use. I mean, so as long as somebody understands, I'm more than willing to get another quote. I just didn't have a... I just don't have success with handyman type guys and stuff in my personal life. <laughs> So, I, well, we, you know, we kind of had local guys going to do stuff for us, remember? That yeah. kind of fell through. Yes. We, yeah. So, I, I just don't have good success. So, I just, I need somebody to tell me who to call. What about Kittner? Could call him. Uh, yeah, are they still around? Well, he's, he's still there. Okay. He's semi local. Well, yeah. His kids went to school here, so I guess yeah. that's local. He borrowed the blue building years ago. The blue building. My blue building. Oh, mm -hmm. th that blue building. Yeah. yeah. Getting there to build. Mm -hmm. If you want to want a high one, get a hold of NRK. <laughs> yeah. That probably would be a little high. But if you want to see the, the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll call Kettner's and then. Or you can call, call Brent. Brent Smith that did the first work on the the uh, restaurant many, many years ago. It's a Crown Electric. Yeah, Crown. Um, you know what? I think Ken Kirchhoff's recommended Crown one day. That he yeah. was going to have Crown. Try, so. try Crown. Okay, I can try Crown. Okay. Okay. Um... What else we got? So are you doing Crown and Kettner? Yeah, I'll just combo. I'll just, I'll just go crazy, Becky. Has <laughs> <laughs> everybody looked at the bills? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. What, what do you got? Uh, anything? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, what about the meter thing? Uh, you know what? Matt Kingery has not emailed me, and I was typing the minutes last week, and I thought I need to shoot him an email, and I did not. So I will email Matt Kingery about those. So. Okay. Um, I, just a lot going on in here, I'm telling you. I got an insurance thing I need to... We're trying to audit the policy when I was doing the capitalization. I really don't see the schedule of everything we're ins still insuring that stupid blazer on there really? like which i didn't even know we were ever really insuring it because we never really drove it so i don't know so i had to take that off there but now she's got me double checking like everything and move removing drivers which i've removed drivers last year and they never got removed and so you know in the middle of larry and the asset capitalization i still i've got to go count all the street signs or if I can talk Jason to count street signs. 
<laughs> That'd be a good rainy day project. Um, yeah. I did draw the line at raiding the street signs. We will not be doing that. <laughs> so that's all. I'm good. I don't have anything else. You going to do department reports? If we're ready to do that. I think so. Okay, let's move now to department reports. Under department reports, we had oh, I did give you a lot of 104 penalties generated. We had two disconnects, three three tags were hung, and yeah. two were shut off. But then you get something back. I got one that was paid. Got in one, full. two disconnected, one paid in full. Yep. Didn't have that one down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jason, you know anything about water? There's any issues or anything? No, I was fixed all week. Huh? You <laughs> sick all week? No, no he... I, I fixed the leaks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you said I was sick all week. <laughs> Shut off the natural spring down on Wood Valley. And, uh, yeah. yeah, the yeah. one's been leaking for years has been repaired. The natural spring. Yeah. I don't know who <laughs> determined it was a natural spring. But. <laughs> well, that's the excuse I think we heard forever. That one's been fixed. Um, did you fix the one by the water tower? Uh, I'm waiting on. You're waiting on Gary on that one. one. Okay. <coughs> How many individuals do we have that have leaks that they are um, supposed to take care of? I have about four that need pretty good adjustments. Rich Baker got his fixed today. Um, I think Barry Jenkins has finally gotten his fixed. Judy Hessler had a huge leak. She's waiting on Chuck Swisher. He was supposed to come late last week. Most of the small ones have gotten corrected, I think. Mm -hmm. I've left some more messages for people that showed up as leaks again. The only the only thing that I found in the whole leak reporting is I can read the leak report and look at it and like I went from one report to the next and I'm like, okay, most of these people. But if I don't physically see their bill, like the e-bill people, mm -hmm. I don't think about adjusting their bill. Yeah. And like I know like Cody has a tenant and their bill's e billed and I never saw it, so I didn't think about hers, so I gotta fix hers. But most of them have been notified. They should be fixing them. I don't, I don't know what else to do. All right. Do I have any wastewater issues? No of? Everything's running. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Did that light get fixed? It was out there at that lift station? Uh, the light has not been fixed. Rob said he would fix it before he went to Florida and he would send Shane and Pam back and then the I talked to them about putting that down. Evidently he must not be too worried about it. No. Hmm. Okay. I was just looking to make sure we oh. covered everything here. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, street department next. Did you make us a list of stuff you needed? Uh, most of that's been taken care of. Most of it has been? Yes. You uh, found some things, I understand. I find some things found that were some, tucked away. Was it in cubby holes? That cubby holes and in the closets that... You can now walk into any closet in that shack and easily find what you're looking for. That's nice. Now you can? Now yes. You can now. Well, when I get feeling a little bit better and <laughs> want to be out and around, I'll come up and look at it. Cliff told me I needed to. Yeah. I would be yeah. impressed. Yeah. Very, very yeah. Nice. It's really nice. It is. Uh, it's very it's impressive. Nice. I don't. How the hell do you have time to do that? <laughs> no time. Our former employer, employee, didn't. <coughs> have time for that? Well, so he said. You're being recorded. 
I do not care, Becky. In fact, I hope they watch it. Um, it does look really nice over there. And I feel like I actually can walk over there now, and it's not like... So I'm going to jump down the tap. Right. It's, I mean, it's just, it is better. It's way better. So Jason's done a good job. All right, good. Glad to hear that. All right, street department, anything else? Uh, you guys did some work down on the alleys? Yeah, we tore out um, the alley by Vaughn, I believe. Tore that out, and it still needs some grading. But uh, trying to let it settle and get Bill Vaughn broke up a little better. Um, the garage at the cemetery has a hole in the roof above the fuse box. Above the what? Above the fuse box, the oh. pressure box. Uh, Carol has a photo of that. I sent that yeah. to her. Did um, you send it to me? I believe so. And then the attachment out there, the back of the attachment for the John Deere. I was going to see that and get that liquidated or moved. It would free up a lot of space. What's involved in doing that. Here's the um, box so that has a hole. Sell it. <laughs> huh? Sell it. Sell it? Yep. I, I don't see it being used anymore. And yeah. it's, uh, Is this the back of the attachment for it? Yeah. For the John Deere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't know for sure what attachment you meant. Huh? Yeah, we don't need it. Not with the excavator, yeah. Right. We can yeah. advertise that. Okay. Yeah. If you can figure out approximate yeah. value. I actually found one online to get a, an estimated value of what somebody else had posted. Uh, it, it goes as is, too. Oh, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you shaking your head about? Um, if it works and it ain't eating nothing, it'd be handy to have as a spare if something happens to it, Annie. Well, maybe, but it might be ain't more. no maybe to it. It'd be handy. <laughs> <coughs> But if it's taking up room, taking up area. Speaking of the garage, just saying, we really need to revisit the electrical system out there, see if we can find some money to fix that. Yeah, the town the, garage? Uh -huh. okay. A lot of the electrical in there is ran by extension cords. Yeah. Um, somebody spliced everything together MacGyver, a lot of, of the electrical out there. So maybe when you have the people come yeah. for the town hall, we okay. check that. Yeah, do separate, separate, uh, separate estimates. Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. Anything else? No questions. Park Department? I think um, the only thing that we yes, have even talked about really was the Still need to Mayor go, go around. around it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they um, did clean you know out what? the guttering on the yes. thing. And tell us what all you found in the guttering. Uh, shoes, baby dolls, Barbies, <laughs> a lot of rocks. A lot of what? Rocks. Rocks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trees. Maybe we can get some leaf guard Put things down. up there. Speaking of the park. Not the expensive kind, just the kind you. Structures you get in art. Huh? Yeah, they're like four feet long and they just snap on them. Huh? Um, speaking of the park, and I would assume that you're probably the only one that can answer this, John. Um, Mr. Larry is asking, he says, Beacon lists a 576 square foot brick building at the park constructed in 1960. And he said, This is the park building that has been removed. I'm cur that's correct, right? Is How big building? 576 square feet. Brick? That's what Beacon says. That's probably what the, there's a... There was never a brick building over there. Okay. It was wood. Okay. So that's gone. Yes. Very big. Um, but do we know when the pavilion... Can any of us remember when the pavilion was put in? I don't remember. It was before I was born. It was, I think. It was not before you sure? were born, Cody. Uh, 
I feel like that's been there forever. The new, the new one. The new Pavilion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think it was a Tim Yoakum project, am I correct? Tim Yoakum project, yes. Okay. I think I can go back to that. It's like, I feel like it hasn't changed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but that's a, it's a, it's a question I'm, he's asking me, and so I'm asking you guys if we know when it was put in. That's when Vicky was clerk. I'm pretty sure. Think when Vicky was clerk? I think so. I think that's been since I was here, and Vicky was not clerk since I've been here for 15 years. Yeah, you know, Tim, Tim Yoakum got Duke to some du- or donate some Duke some, money. something. Yes, somehow. there was some Duke money that went into that, but I just, I remember. All right, I'll see if I can go back through some old minutes and see if I can figure that out. Back when he was our operator. He wasn't our operator very long either. No, so, he wasn't. Yeah. Well, the fire department went down there and helped put a bunch of stuff up. Yeah. One Saturday. Yeah. Put up some trusses. Two mm-hmm. Saturdays, so. Yeah. So. Okay. It hasn't been a real long time ago. Uh-uh. No, I mean I'd say. So that would be since two thousand eight. Yeah. I'm thinking. I was going to say probably ten years. I, but I was going ten years too. I don't know. And you are older than that, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Okay, so there was never a brick building. I can tell him I don't know what he's talking about. All right. No. Okay. What was the old back room that was fenced that, in? That wasn't brick. It wasn't? No, it just was. Mm-hmm. Sit over there on the corner. Mm-hmm. There's a storage, uh, had storage room in it and restroom. Okay. And it didn't have running water. Yeah. So it was an outhouse. It was an outhouse. Okay, fire department. Okay, we have numbers for September. Okay. <laughs> they had four bedrooms in September. <clears throat> in October, they had uh, one grain bar, blah, 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 grain bin fire, one fire alarm, and six bedrooms for a total of eight. And do we <laughs> do we have a November breakfast coming up? Twenty first should be twenty first, third Sunday. Should be business as usual. So that's the Sunday before Thanksgiving, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. The way the first fell, yeah, it's it's twenty first. Mm-hmm. Okay, cemetery report. Well, we were busy last month. We had four burials, three cremations. We sold two graves, and we uh, was it, did we? That was part of this month when we resolved the. Um, I resolved it last week. Okay. So. so That'll be next month. Okay. Well, I don't want to talk I about. I mean, it. yeah, we don't want to talk about it. That's fine. Okay. It just it's the situation's resolved. So. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Carol. Mm-hmm. Police report. Well, unfortunately, according to Dara Lilly, she all cannot get us CAD reports like we've been getting forever. I actually texted her before the October meeting that I missed, and she said that it's got something to do with Cushing, the company that runs the CAD system. And that was all I got out of it. So we're not going to ever get that again? Unknown. Uh, so her text message said there was nine departments. She's including the the fire departments because the fire departments get those every month. We get them at the fire department. We get an email every week. But she said there was nine departments that couldn't get that she couldn't get those four. Or so. Well, how does the newspaper get there? <coughs> how does the, the newspaper get it? Where the sirens <laughs> went. Uh-huh. Uh, that lady. Um. <laughs> the um. Where the sirens went is sent to us, it's sent to the editor or business manager, I'm not sure which, but it's sent through the county, I believe. They're probably just counting runs. I have no idea. Because we get, like, we get Adams Township, Rockville, Montezuma, Rosedale, Mm -hmm. Mecca. I think we get all all five, so I think it comes from the county is where we get the where the sirens went. Okay. Where the fire department went. Well, isn't that who Darla is, the county? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, she works yeah. as a sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how it's affecting everything, but I did text her. I actually showed Natalie the text where I texted her. Yeah, he did. And asked her about it, and she just kind of put it off on the company's called Cushing that runs all that. I said they'd worked on it at back then. That was almost two months ago. She said they'd been working on it eight weeks and couldn't get it fixed. So I don't have a good answer for that one, other than we're at her mercy on that one. I think. Well, I wonder if the commissioners are aware of that. Or the county council, for that, as far as that goes, because yeah, they're that, paying for the service they're not getting. That falls under the sheriff. So. Okay. Because that's all out of the jail, so I don't know. What it is. But those other people have to approve what he does. Correct. Yeah. Uh, I think this month, or actually October, we had. If I remember my email correctly, there were six warnings and two tickets. And then I got sick right there at the, pretty much the, right there at the middle of the bridge festival. So I'm just trying to get back at it and caught up. Okay. Thanks for the info. Clerk Treasury report. Um, I've just been busy. I've already said what I've been doing. I do want you guys to think about something is when I was talking to Scott on the phone, um, we were talking about, I was asking about the origin of hydrant rental, and he said that we don't have to do hydrant rental if we don't want to, out of our general fund over to water. He really? said he said that, like, Clinton hasn't done it, he said, for, like, 20 years. He said that there's, he said, it's really, he said a lot of towns did it, he said and then a lot of them have done away with it, he said because it's easier to, he said that, that money on the civil side, like the general fund side, it's $5,200 out of our general fund over to water. Yes, it shores water up. It helps water. He said, but most places, utilities are standing pretty well on their own. Water is getting better. Do we need to shovel $5,000 over? He said, it's just easier for your utilities to get better than it is your general fund to get better because you have a little more control. So we don't have to do that anymore. I just want you guys to know that. And also... We get a crop share check every year on the land by the wastewater treatment plant. It's like another eleven to thirteen hundred dollars, depending upon what the crop is. That money's always gone into wastewater because it's out there. That's other money that we don't have to put into wastewater. We can put that in general if we want to tag it over there too, because that I mean that gives us an extra like sixty four hundred dollars in general if we don't do those two things anymore. But that's just, I inherited the system that way, so that's how I've done it. But the town owns the wastewater plant, the town owns the property. We don't have to put that money there. I, I mean, I just, just talking about revenues, wastewater's holding $100,000, they're fine. So I'm just saying that money might go farther if we do it in the general fund. Just a couple things. So could we put the crop share money in the water to help there? I mean, I don't know why we couldn't if that's what we decided to do. So, yeah. I mean, I think water is starting to get better and it is starting to, it's, I mean, we obviously still have that bond issue and it makes me so super mad, but I'm not going to call again. The Indiana Finance Authority guy is like, I hope she never calls me again. <laughs> but um, it is getting better. The thing about it is we've, we've sold houses to people that actually, we have so many empty houses that are occupied now. We do have more customers, and we have families in those houses. So even if they were online before, a lot of them were empty, and they weren't selling any water. So I don't know. Can, I'm just putting that out there. Can we move it, like move it for a while, and then move it somewhere else to say we moved it to water, then move it to general without having to do an ordinance or anything? Or you wouldn't move it back to general from water. I would say. I would say you, you just wouldn't move it from general over. Well, I'm just thinking about the crop share money. If you put it into water for a while to help shore it up and pay off the bond or whatever, and then moved it to general, would you have to do something else to move it I from mean, one to the other? I don't know. I mean, I think we can do whatever we want with it. I think we just kind of have to make a decision. Okay. So, I mean, it's only, like I said, it's only <coughs> like 11 to, I think this month, I think this year it was like $1,200. Okay. So, just, just putting out some of that, because like I said, the general fund seems to be pretty stagnant every year, and the utilities are better than they used to be so 
That's all I have today. Okay. Now, is that crop share? Is it cash rent or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, why are the two different amounts for the year? Well, it's fish one is yield. Is that why well, am I saying that wrong? No. So it's not cash rent. No. So it's not okay. cash rent sure. then. It's a, so it's yeah, whatever right. then. Is that what our contract says? Do we have a contract? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's cash renting this? Bob Claghorn. Okay. I mean, like the one year it was all kind of flooded out there. Yeah. And then last year, this year was pretty good, so it was better this year. I mean, well, that's I, what crop so. insurance is for. Okay. Well, I don't know, Miss <laughs> USDA. Yeah. I don't know. Bob brings me a check. That's all I know. Oh, okay. Crop insurance goes over the whole farm, so. So I don't know. Well, it but it's not. Don't don't argue with her. She's FDA. It's yeah. not consistent amount. <laughs> I know a little bit about that. <laughs> Well, I've talked a little Bobby Cotton. Yeah, so. straight Bobby out. <laughs> there you go. I'm so. sure he's uh, jerking us around. So. I don't think there's a weather clause or flood clause in cash rent. You don't have anything else? I do not. I'll go around the room again for public comment. Okay. Chair accepts the motion to pay the bills as presented. I'll make a motion to pay the bills. They, that way? they headed that way. I have a quick request about something. Okay. Well, wait a minute. I got a motion on the floor. <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She didn't know what it was. <laughs> pay the bills. <laughs> I heard him. Um, the guys were working on the windows at the town marshal building. And we're going to reglaze them, and we're caulking them, and we're scraping on them. And they're just cracking, those old ones in the front. And we have prices for new windows for there. But that was, you know, ones that open and close. And I thought maybe we could price out some that are just like, you know, regular picture windows. Stationary windows. Yeah. Uh, on each side that might bring the price down so we could afford to do those sooner than later. So I thought I would call and get a price on that and then we could revisit it next meeting. Sounds like great to me. Okay. Can I just get it done if it's a good price? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Thought I'd try. Nice try. <laughs> Motion been paid to pay the bills and seconded as presented. All in favor, say aye. 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 Both opposed, same sign. Carried. I make a motion to adjourn. I will second. <laughs> That's been moved to adjourn meeting till next regular meeting. Second. Is there anything under question? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Close. Close. Same sign. Much carried. Thank you everyone for attending.